Welcome to Author Spotlight. I'm Ms. Terry, and today's Author Spotlight is on Deborah Wiles. Deborah Wiles is a Southerner who was born in Mobile, Alabama. She spent a significant amount of time in Mississippi growing up, and this has informed her writing. She currently lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Wiles' first picture book was Freedom Summer. It is set in 1964, right after the Civil Rights Act was passed. The book is about the friendship between Joe and John Henry. And because John Henry is black, he is treated differently than Joe. And that is hard for these boys who just would like to be able to swim in the town pool and do other things together. Wiles won the Ezra Jack Keats New Writer Award for this book. Another picture book by Deborah Wiles is Night Walk to the Sea. It's a story that features Rachel Carson, who was a woman whose book Silent Spring advanced the environmental movement. A series that Wiles wrote was called the Aurora County All-Star Series. And the first book in that series is Love Ruby Lavender, which I read to my daughter when she was eight and we both loved the book. We have that in both book and CD book at the library. Another series written by Deborah Wiles is the 60s trilogy. This is written for upper elementary and middle school kids. Each book is set in a different year in the 60s and is based on historic events. The books are fiction, but they include real photos and newspaper articles that combine to make a new format, the documentary novel. The first in this series is called Countdown, and it is set in 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The second book is Revolution, set in 1964 during Freedom Summer, and the last book in the series is called Anthem. And Anthem is set in 1969 during the Vietnam War. Deborah Wiles' newest book is an easy biography. The title of it is Bobby, a story of Robert F. Kennedy. I hope you'll come into the library soon and check out a book by Deborah Wiles.